Hi guys and welcome to another EB6 video. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. But if you're new, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. I took the delivery of my Kia EB6 one year ago and since then I've driven it for 27,815 kilometers. And I'm going to share my ownership experience with you. Build quality. No squeaks, no rattles. Very happy with it. But I drive on paved roads so your experience might vary depending on your driving conditions. Reliability. I know people have reported their EV6 issues on different online forums, but I guess I'm lucky because I've had zero issues with this car. None whatsoever. The only time I had to take it to the dealership was for two recalls. One for the amplifier for the Meridian surround sound system, and the other one was the risk of the car rolling uh, if it was that if the parking brake was not engaged and they were both software updates no hardware was replaced apart from that zero issues even that's not really an issue it was a recall which was addressed by a software update so very happy with it i've never been thankfully stranded on the roadside where i had to call roadside assistance because the car died on me not once the only real issue i had with this car was the Android Auto connecting and disconnecting intermittently and uh, I just stopped using it and the built-in nav after the two software updates has gotten so good that you can practically use it like Google Maps it is fantastic the voice search is fantastic and it will actually route you around traffic the only reason I always relied on Google Maps was because it routes you around traffic and the built-in nav usually doesn't or even if it does it doesn't do as good of a job but I can tell you it's phenomenal also because I'm using the built-in nav now I get to use the features I paid for like the head of display and the augmented reality range my EV6 is the long-range all-wheel drive GT Line Package 2, which would make sense for Canadians because in other markets, your trims may vary, uh, like the wind and whatnot. We don't have that in Canada. So let's just go with the long-range all-wheel drive. Package 1 obviously adds features. Package 2 also adds features, plus the 20-inch wrench. When I got this car, it was rated at 441 kilometers on a full charge, which was later dropped to 406 kilometers because it has 20 trims and the owners supposedly of the GT Line package to drove it in sport mode a lot and got lower range. So let's just go with 406 kilometers. I was consistently getting 385 kilometers for winter keep in mind the 406 kilometer range is in eco mode and with no creature comforts on no heated seats no cool seats no climate control on I was getting 385 kilometers on full charge not in eco mode but in sport mode and while having fun and while having the AC running and the ventilated seats running on and off Winter, however, was a concern because I was mentally prepared for the absolute worst of losing half the range, so about 200 kilometers on a full charge. And I was pleasantly surprised because I was consistently getting over 300 kilometers, 315 kilometers on a full charge. And when I say full charge, I mean 100%. Yes, I have always been charging my car up to 100%. Now, the range I was getting, 315 kilometers, was with me running the uh, heating, running the heated seats, running the heated steering wheel, and not just running, I was like blasting the heat. So super happy with the range. There was not a single instance, not one, where I felt the need to stop and use a public charging station or DC fast charger because I couldn't get to my destination or back home. But then again, this is my experience because I don't do road trips and I don't have to drive far enough where I cannot go and come back on the same charge. The longest trip I have to make 
is about 130 kilometers round trip. So this EV6 is a perfect ICE vehicle alternative for me. Zero range anxiety, none. Maintenance, oh, the scam these dealerships are running. I've seen people pay anywhere from $60 to $150 for maintenance. EVs are supposed to be low maintenance. The problem is dealerships make a lot of money servicing cars. More money than they make selling cars. So with EVs, they only make money when they sell the car, but there's no repeat business. So now they're running this scam of scaring people into buying this maintenance package, which is mainly just inspection, diagnostics, and tire rotations, maybe an air filter change. All of which you can do it yourself. Now, will that void your warranty? The owner's manual has everything mentioned on what to do and at what intervals. As long as you follow that, your warranty is intact. Also, it is illegal for any dealership to say that you only have to service the car at their dealership, otherwise the warranty will be void. I've been leasing cars for 15 years and sometimes I maintain them at the dealerships and sometimes I don't. And not once has any dealership ever refused warranty claim because I didn't service it there. Not once. So again, take it with a grain of salt. Whatever makes you mentally comfortable, go with it. Uh, this is what I do. I just refuse to fall for that scam the dealerships are running. Apologies about the continuity issue here, but I totally forgot to talk about battery degradation. Perhaps the most important aspect of an EV. I have not been monitoring the battery health using a tool of some sort because the car is backed by an excellent warranty and if anything was to happen, it would be covered under warranty. And I don't keep my cars beyond four years, so I really don't care. But based on the range alone, I'm confident that the battery has not degraded or very slightly, if at all. This is particularly important in my case because I've been charging my car to 100% every single time for one year and seeing no to very little battery degradation is very good news. If anything, the range has actually improved because I spent the winter driving in normal mode, so now the car is projecting the range based on those driving habits. Here's the projected range now in the three driving modes. In eco mode, I'm getting 421 kilometers, in normal, 408 kilometers, and in sport mode, 396 kilometers on a full charge. And I've actually driven way past uh, the 27,815 uh, mark. As you can see, I'm at 28,682 now. And there you have it. This was the one year ownership experience of my Kia EV6. About everything I could think of. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comment section below and I will try to respond. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and thank you for watching.